word from the Lord. Somebody say, the path of a true worship. The path of a true worship. Now, oh, glory to God. In this text, Jesus is speaking to the Samaritan woman at Jacob's well in the city of Samaria, which is called Sachar. And all of us have heard and know the story that Jesus told this woman about her five husbands and the one that she would have heard. She heard about it, about it, about it. Everybody heard that story? Yeah. But there's a section of the conversation that grabbed my attention. The Lord appointed this section out to, to me, and I want to examine it for just a few moments. I believe that God is about to open our eyes about worshiping the Lord. Allow us to be set apart as true worshipers. Somebody say true worshipers. True worshipers. We're going to start at John, the fourth chapter. And then we're going to take a more in-depth look and we're going to move to 1 Samuel 1 and we're going to begin at 11, 11 in Samuel. And that text is talking about Hannah and how she prayed and lost her voice. I think you, most of you remember that verse 2. Amen. So let us open our Bibles to the book of John fourth chapter and the 24th verse. I wrote this when we started great writing some of my sermons down because I want to be able to preach them in other places. Amen. Mm -hmm. So the Lord told me, gave me this thing and I wrote it in. I wrote it. I was up and my wife got up at 5 o'clock. She said, he's still up. She woke up and said, somebody left the light on. Found out that I was in there <coughs> still praying. I began to pray for you in the middle of the night. Last night I had you on my mind. And for all of you that got that text, I called your name on the middle of the night. Thank you.
in order to be a worshiper, you must be intimate with God. Worship is that connection that goes deeper than what he has done for you or what he's about to do for you. It's a deeper connection than this. It's a heart thing. It's not what he does, but it's how you love him. Look at your neighbor and say, worship. Worship. It's a heart thing. It's a heart thing. In this text, Jesus says to this Samaritan lady, he says, he worship, he know not. This indicates that there are some things that are in this relationship with the Lord that we do not have the full understanding. Truth is, we don't really understand the fullness of God's power. That's right. We don't understand the fullness of how He works or what He is going to do or what God is doing. We can't understand all of this. We don't really know the Lord. We don't really know Him. We know of him, but we don't yeah. know him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Some of us try to worship in faith. Uh -huh. This is tight. I need you to hear me on this one. Meaning that we worship believing that he is going to do for us. Mm -hmm. Thinking that our worship the pigs is moving. Yeah. We worship in faith, and worshiping in faith is wrong worship. Yeah. Yeah. It's wrong for you to worship God because you need Him to heal. That's right. That's right. It's wrong for you to worship God because you need some money. Worshiping in faith. Is what the Bible says. They that worship me must worship me not in faith, but in spirit. The real worshiper worship God because he knows God is God. If you know God, then you understand that you cannot put stipulations on the Lord. Trying to manipulate him because of the way we cry because of the way we beg and plead, then when God fails to do what we ask him to do, then we act like we don't want to worship him. That's because you try to worship in faith and not understanding his way. You can't use faith to alter God's will. Come on now. You can't try to say, I believe what God will say something. I don't believe in nothing but the will. That's well, right. Nothing well, but the will of the Holy Ghost. So God's will for someone to pass. Mm. It's God's will. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't worship for that person to live if God's will. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Says something different. Therefore, we worship wrong Great. when we try to worship Great. in faith. Ain't nobody talking. He's preaching. Yet God is saying, "Ye worship what ye know not." What we know not. Right in front of me. You, you, you don't know me. Come on, yeah. Just, if you do, if you knew me, you trust me. Yeah. You, you trust me. me. 